He's been in some popular TV shows and movies. You have maybe seen his face. You laughed at his jokes before, and now you got a chance to see him live. On Thursday, I had a chance to talk to comedian Eric Griffin right here in the studio as he gets ready to take the stage this weekend at Raleigh Improv. So, you've had quite a uh, career, especially even just the last decade. Man, you've been busy. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, you know what? I, I can't be mad at it. It's been good. I was on Workaholics. Mm -hmm. I did I'm Dying Up Here. I was on Blunt Talk with Patrick Stewart. I just did Murder Mystery with uh, Adam Sandler. I got a new Netflix movie coming out uh, in June called The Sleepover. Uh, so that's a kid's movie, a, a family action comedy. So there's that. And, you know, and then I got my podcast, Riffin' with Griffin. So make sure you uh, check that out too. Griffin with Griffin. There you go. <laughs> that much energy in the podcast too? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's early now, but. Uh, <laughs> we got you coffee. Don't yeah, worry. We'll get to, you. Yeah, they took me to HR to get the coffee. No, I know. You know, <laughs> we got to keep guilty. things on the up and up here. So, uh, as as a, a performer, I don't know if you like that term, but. Uh, yeah, artist what, performer. Artist. Okay, what is it, I mean, doing a TV show versus being in front of an audience? Um. Well, you know, one is one of one of them's all you because mm -hmm. I write the material, so it's all me. It's a one man show. But then when you like collaborate with other people, I mean, they're they're they have the same. It's hard to explain, but like they're equally as fun and good to do. You know what I mean? You kind of get a uh, dynamic going. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I've had a chance to watch some of your comedy. You you you're very good, <laughs> for, for my humble opinion. You're very good. Uh, can, can we get a, a sample? I know you guys. Well, I mean, a, what? I don't want to spot things. I know you hit a lot of topics. What is what is one of your favorite things to talk about? Uh, you know, I think. Oh man, what is my favorite? I wish I oh, got. I'm so unprepared. <laughs> this guy put me right on the spot. Jokes go <laughs> under the bus. <laughs> right under the bus. Uh, you know, I, I talk about so many different types of things. Like right now, recently, I'm talking about uh, uh, personal stuff. I'm talking about too, because like, you know, I just recently found out my my mom has dementia. Mm -hmm. You know, so I've been talking about that on stage, if you can believe that. It's actually pretty funny, you know, because they're living in a fantasy land and they're making you feel like you're crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if you've dealt with that, you know. It, it creates a, a, a bond yeah. with the audience because they can... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, saying. I, I talk about, you know, I, I, I'm not too political, but when I do talk about some politics, it's, it's, I try to make it as light as possible. Right, I mean, right. We're living in some weird times right now. You don't know who, who supports who or whatever it is like that, but look, everybody he does funny things and so right. I try to just make fun of all that kind of stuff come on out guys you come out and see me there you go love it you don't get a better endorsement Eric pleasure appreciate you having here bud yeah thank you enjoy your time